Welcome once again to the newsroom. I am Folashade Ogurindi. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has reserved judgment in the appeal filed by the leader of outlawed indigenous people of Biafra in Namde Kanu, challenging the seven charges against him by the federal government. Kanu had filed the appeal through his lawyer Mike Ezekome. He is facing charges bordering on terrorism and treasonable felony. Detained former Deputy Senate President Senator Ike Ikwerimadu has asked the Federal High Court in Abuja to dismiss the suit by the alleged organ harvesting victim David Upo, seeking to stop the release of his bio data to a London court. Ikwerimadu said in a counter affidavit against the suit that Upo has no basis to entertain any fear in releasing his data, his visa application information, and his bank account opening package except if he had filed about his real age. In the counter of Fidefik, deposed to by Bright Ikori Madu, immediate younger brother of the detained senator in London, Ikori Madu denied the allegations that he demanded Upo's bio data. The Kaduna-based Islamic cleric Hamad Gumi says the same faith ticket adopted by the All Progressors Congress, APC, has nothing to do with religion. Speaking with newsmen at his residence in Kaduna on Monday, about the 2023 general elections in the country, he observed that it was not right for Bola Hamid Tinubu to say that it was his turn to become Nigeria's president. Gumi, however, enjoined Nigerians to unite and do away with ethno-religious policies that had no benefit for developing the nation. COVID infections in the UK have fallen to their lowest level since October last year. The Office for National Statistics has revealed Fewer than a million people had the virus in the last week of August, about 1 in 70, down from 1 in 15 in mid-July. Health experts have predicted that there will be a jump in COVID-19 and flu infections in the run-up to this winter, and anyone who is eligible for an extra vaccine should boost their protection against both illnesses. The Cinema Exhibitors Association of Nigeria says it generated 700 and 78 million naira from tickets sold across cinemas in the country in August. The association's national president, Ope Ajayi, said the figure represented a 28% increase compared to 294 million naira realized in August 2021. He however said that there was a 19% decline in tickets sold in August as 471 million naira was generated in July. William Ruto has officially been declared president of Kenya following his swearing-in ceremony which took place at the Karasani Stadium in Kenya. He was sworn in by the Chief George Martha Kume on Tuesday. Amid chairs from the excited crowd, Ruto swore an oath of allegiance and for the execu execution of the functions of his office. In sports, Napoli and Super Eagle striker Victor Simen has been ranked third in the, uh, the target man shooters category alongside other forwards were yet to, uh, to turn 25. The ranking, which was released by the CIES Football Observatory on Monday, saw the Nigerian move up six places with a score of 93.3%. Osimen men with 93.3 edges, Barcelona's Ferran Torres to fourth by 0 0.3 points. And that's it from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Fola Shadi Ogurindi. Bye for now.